Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about how to create pipeline in Azure Data Factory with real-time scenario. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe my channel and also like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I will provide complete training of Azure Data Factory from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real-time project explanation with scenario based monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. So if you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easily survive in the real time environment. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to create pipeline with real time scenario is nothing but copy activity. Okay, from one folder to another folder. Okay, so if you want to copy data from one folder to another folder, we should have the folder with the file. Right? That's the reason why in the first scenario, what we are going to do is we are going to upload a file on premises to cloud. So I have a file in uh, my computer is nothing but here it is on premises. Okay. From my local to cloud, I will move. That is the first scenario. Okay. So if you want to create a pipeline, so we require a resource group and a storage account. If you are anybody watching first time video, please check my previous videos as well. So if you don't understand what is storage account, what is a resource group and all, it is very difficult to understand the pipeline concept. Okay. Please follow my previous videos. Okay. So already we have resource group, already we have storage account, already we are created Azure Data Factory. Now, if you want to create a pipeline, we require a linked service. Your linked service is nothing but connection string. Okay. Also, we need to create a data sets. Also, we require a integration runtime. So, what is integration runtime and all? We are going to discuss in coming sessions. Okay. So, here if you want to move cloud to cloud, Azure to Azure, we don't require to create any separate integration runtime here right now. Okay. Okay. So, the first scenario upload file from on premises to cloud okay so if you want to upload what is required we require a storage account go to the portal.azure.com okay we have the storage account okay so if you want to understand this pipeline concept easily i will explain simple scenario okay we can compare this uh, storage account with our computer see here how so in my computer hard disk memory is nothing but okay here storage account okay so inside the storage account we can able to create the container here container in ADF is nothing but here drive it's a drive in our local computer right like D drive E drive like that we can create a number of drives okay so we are what we are doing we are hard disk we are able to partition the uh, drives like d drive e drive f drive like that so inside the drives what we can do we can create the n number of folders inside the folders we can able to place the files in the same way in azure data factory storage account is nothing but hard disk in your computer so uh, container is nothing but your drive and folder is nothing but folder and files is nothing but files okay now it is simple right okay go here now go to containers first create the container here my container is nothing but what drive so let me do one thing container jb so our better understanding you also create like that you with your name so it is creating okay inside drive we can able to create the folder inside the folder we can place the files right so but here azure data factory we can do both uh, simultaneously so while uploading we can able to create the folder as well okay we have a file here uh, input file okay if you want to see the information see here just simply i just put it okay if you want to fill you can fill your data also fine now upload it browse file input file advanced upload to folder 
input folder input folder so i want to rename as input folder okay that is fine and just upload see here input folder is created just open this folder so inside the folder there is a text file okay as of now you understood right okay fine no problem so now what we have to do is we have to create our pipeline what is our motto we need to create our pipeline right okay so if you want to create a pipeline what i told you we have already storage account resource group and azure data factory as well inside the azure data factory we can able to create the pipeline so if anybody watching with ssis background see here azure data factory is nothing but project in ssis okay here pipeline is nothing but in ssis it is a package okay so now our requirement pipeline we need to create so if you want to create a pipeline what is additionally we require linked service linked service is nothing but connections thing already I told you right so now what you can do is you can directly open adf.azure.com already i created a azure data factory now just continue see here here we can able to create the pipeline before creating a pipeline what is our requirement we need to create a linked service just create a linked service azure storage okay just rename as uh, linked service for better understanding and uh, auto resolve integration runtime so if you are connecting azure to azure we don't need to create a runtime okay subscription we can select free storage account we can select uh, jb1 yeah everything is done now just click uh, create okay successfully created okay fine now uh, go to author in the author tab you can able to see so link service already we created so i want to connect to the my input folder so that's the reason why i want to create a data set what kind of data i want to go i want to text right azure blob storage is fine yeah delimiter text that is also fine and uh, you can rename as input data set and linked service yeah already have the linked service you want to browse the file from where it should connect so this is my container this is my drive this is my folder this is my file into connect or you want uh, you want to import uh, or you don't want that is also fine just click on it yeah we created input data set now in the same way we have to create output as well azure blob storage again delimiter text again output data set for better understanding one linked service is fine because we are connecting the same file right so what is the container so container jb okay that is fine so we don't have here output folder right directly we can create here the folder mm, output what is this folder right okay output folder in the file name you want different file name like uh, new dot txt yes that is also fine you just select none option and just click okay okay 
So now everything is ready. We created one linked service and data sets also we created. Now we are good to go to create the pipeline. Go to new pipeline. So what activity you want to perform? Copy activity. So you can, so you want to rename this one. Yeah, you can rename copy data activity, whatever you want, you can rename. Description and timeout. If the pipeline get anything filed, automatically it will try in some time. If you want to put like a try, interval is nothing but 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, again, it will try to run, okay? So what we are doing? So we need to copy from source to destination. Source, already we have input data set, okay? Here sync is nothing but destination in the SSIS. For sync also we created output one, okay? Now everything is fine. What do you have to do? We have to validate whatever we done configuration, correct or not, just validate. If you have any errors, it will show uh, error, okay? Any configuration errors and all. So your pipeline has been validated. There is no issue at all. Now how to run? We have to run here debug. There is a button called debug. So. See here, you can able to see here status, status is queued. You have to wait until succeeded, status will going to change. If it is succeed, succeeded, then it is uh, created output folder and it is copied from input to output. See, what is the status now? Succeeded, again rerun. Now, come to your uh, container. Container JB. Now see, output folder is created. Open this output folder. New.txt. You can open this. So you want to view. See, same text. So whatever the data is there in, in output for input folder, same thing we bring in the output folder as well. So in this way, we can able to create the pipeline in the Azure Data Factory. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. If anybody wants special training, you can call to my mobile number, my WhatsApp number, also same number. Also, you can send email to this email. Okay. Thank you for watching my video once again.